Hello my gorgeous friends. I hope you're all well today. Welcome to this month's Global Stampin' Video Hop. It is May 2024 and we are working with our gorgeous new in colors. So these are the colors that have just been released by Stampin' Up! on the 1st of May this year. So not even a month old and I feel like I know them really well already. <laughs> Um, I absolutely love these colors. I think they're gorgeous and I'm going to make a card with them for you today. Okay, so I'm actually going to use all the colors. I don't know that that was a pre-requirement for this particular, uh, this particular video, but um, I wanted to use them all because I think they all look so good together. All right, so I'm going to show you the card we're going to make. If you like to have a surprise at the end and not see the card, then now's your cue to look away. Uh, so look away now and I'm going to show the card. All right, so this is the card we're making today. I'm um, very, very simple. I'm using the um, Friends for Life stamp set and matching dies. Card is now gone out of the way. You can look back if you were looking away. And I'm gonna be working just on a piece of basic white card. Okay, so I have um, measured my card to be nine and a half centimeters. I'm a metric girl, so nine and a half centimeters wide by 13.8 long. Um, this will be your standard uh, US sizing if you're in the US. Um, so it would be uh, three and three quarters by five. So five long, three and three quarters. And then this one um, underneath, we're going to end up with a mat underneath. We're not going to put it, I'm not going to attach it yet, but this one would be five and a quarter by, oh no, sorry, five and a quarter this way by four. Okay, so that would be your measurements if you're doing it in the US letter size. Um, in, in centimeters, it's nine and a half by 13.8. Okay, so I'm starting here with this. I'm using a mat underneath because the set that we're going to use, which is called Friends for Life, is a photopolymer set, which means it doesn't have any cushioning. It, it has, it's a clear or acrylic, some people call these acrylic stamps, um, Stampin' Up! call them photopolymer. It says so right there on the on the cover. Um, this is a fantastic set. It's part of, um, and you know what, I didn't really pay this set a lot of attention when the catalogue first came out. And then they released it and I did get given the, um, the paper that matches this. Hang on, I'm almost there. Let me find it for you. Um, I, I got the paper that matches this. Here it is on page 43, okay? Um, this paper, I was given it as a as a gift um, when I was on the Mexico incentive trip and it was one of my prizes that I spun on the wheel and I was very happy to get this paper. I have now completely fallen in love with this set, okay? So you can actually get the whole set, like the stamps, the dies, the ribbon, the embellishments, these are really cute, and the paper. In Australia, the price for all of that as a bundle would be $145.25, okay? However... If you, you can pick and choose, you can just buy the paper, you can just buy any of the elements, okay? But I'm going to be using almost all of them today. I wasn't planning on using the ribbon or the embellishments, and I'll show you what I've done instead. Um, but it's a super nice set, really, really fun. Fun to use. If you like lots of colour, this set is for you. All right, I'm starting with the word best, okay? And you can see from the Friends for Life set, there's the best stamp right there. It's a solid stamp. And I'm going to be coming in with my um, with my ink pads and I'm going to start from the top. Now, it doesn't really matter about the order of them. I'm just doing them in the order that I've got them in my storage. So I'm going to start here with the Petunia Pop and you could do a different order if you wanted to. And I'm just going to ink that up and I'm going to pop this. Let me have a look. I'm going to get over it. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to have it just going across here at the top of the page all right so the word best there it is and as i go i'm going to be cleaning my stamp each time because i'm going to stamp each time in a different color all right so i'm cleaning it and you'll see me bringing that in and out let's close that one up actually i think i don't have any other petunia pop on this card just the word best same with pretty and pink okay so now i'm going to come in here with my pretty and pink and i'm going to get over this and I'm going to line it up so it's almost touching the one above so it's just sitting immediately below can you see that all right now if you have a stamparatus um, for those of you who still have your stamparatus um, stamp positioners we don't sell them anymore but if you still have one now we're going to, to peach pie um, if you still have one 
this is very easy for you to do. You just use your hinge step and you move it down one hinge place each time and it will perfectly position for you. But it's as you can see, it's not very hard to do. Just going to clean that stamp, ready to go again with the peach pie. All right, let's go. Now I need to um, spend a bit of time and massage these ink pads to get the ink down into them. This they're better than they were, but you can see there's still a little bit of dottiness. I'm not worried about that for this card, but um, you can. Uh, if you want to see how I do the massaging with the spoon, the last couple of live videos that I've done with my ink colours, um, I have shown how to do that. Now I'm moving on to Summer Splash, so you can see I'm doing a different one each time. So let's get that inked up. And we're going to have that one immediately below. So it's like about the same distance from the edge each time. You can see that they're all very similar. Uh, that is uh, Summer Splash, this colour, which is the most aqua. This one has got like a bit of blue in it. This one is more just green. Okay, so the Summer Splash is like a blue-green. And then the Shy Shamrock is a green. Go last one. All right, so I'm going to... Grab those. I'm going to put this immediately below that one. Gonna... And there we go. So we've got our best, 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 best. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five bests. And then the word friend is going to be done with the dies from the same set. So I'm going to show, I've already shown you this one. I'm using this word best, okay? Um, I'm also going to use this leaf in a moment, but... I want to show you the dies. Okay, so these dies are called Friends for Life, same name as the stamp set. And I'm using this friend, like a like a um, background piece, and then the finer detail friend. These two work together. Okay, you've got all these other lovely things. There's the heart. This one actually cuts out a heart that shape that goes around this one that cuts out the pieces in the middle. And then this one, we also have a, a fabulous leaf here. I love these. These are so good. Um, and they open up so many different possibilities. All right, so I'm going to use the word friend. Now, in the interest of time, I have already cut these. Um, but you can see I cut the, the bigger friend. Okay, I cut from white. And then... The detail one I cut from the Shy Shamrock. All right, so this one is going to go onto here. Now, if I was really smart, which clearly I'm not, um, I would have um, used adhesive sheets when I cut this out so I could just peel the back off and stick it straight on. But no, I didn't think to do that. So I very often forget about the adhesive sheets. I usually remember when I'm gluing and go, oh, the adhesive sheets would have been a good idea. <laughs> Isn't that always the way you think about it when you're when you've already it's too late and you've already forgotten so i'm just adding a bit of tombow here and there behind just a dot here and there so that it's going to be enough to hold it in place all right and i should be using a silicon mat under this because then it won't i won't have to worry about glue on my glass mat once again another thing i should have thought of before i started but never mind that's what happens sometimes when i'm recording a video and i'm halfway through and think oh whoops should have done this, should have done that. Oh well, I'm sure I'm no different to the average person that forgets these things. All right, so now I have this attached. All right, you can see how nice this is. Now, I thought this would look good, but then I thought, well, white on white doesn't really show. There's not much point in having white behind this if I'm not going to. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm first of all, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a, grab a, a cloth and quickly get rid of that bit of glue okay I'm now going to bring in some color because then that's going to add a bit more contrast so I have got a blending brush here and the two colors I want to use are the shy shamrock and the summer splash I'm going to start with the summer splash because that's the lighter of the two colors and I'm going to pick up some of that ink um, when you do this technique it's usually smart to um, go off onto a piece of scrap paper first so let me grab a piece of scrap paper here you go here's a piece here all right so just to get rid of any blobbiness and then we can start going over the edges and we're going to move up and i'm going to go probably cover most of the word best with this so i'm going to go about a third of the way up maybe ish or maybe a quarter of the way up my white panel all right so i'm going to do this a couple of times i'm going to grab some more ink i'm going to get the any blobbiness of ink 
off onto my scrap paper and I'm going to go over the edges again. And I'm going to work my way up. I love blending brushes. I love the effects that you can get on your different uh, on your colors, but it looks really good on white. All right, I'm happy with that. That's the that's the summer splash. Now we're going to move up to the shy shamrock. You can use a different blending brush. I'm just going to use the same one. Doesn't really matter. So I'm going to grab any blobbiness off onto my scrap piece, and then I'm going to start going over the edges of this one. You can see it gets darker immediately over that corner there. And let's try and get. Now we're not going to go up as high this time. So it's going to kind of blend into the summer splash and we're just going to have that darker color down around the edges. I'm going to say that's done. Looks good. Now we have the friend piece that we just did. Okay, this one. Now it is going to stand out much more against that green background. Can you see that? Now we are going to cover up some of the word best. I'm not worried about that. Everybody can see what it says. <laughs> it's just part of the background now. And behind this, I'm actually going to add some dimensionals. And I used mini dimensionals for this because um, this, you could use bigger ones if you wanted to. Give me a second while I find my mini dimensionals. Oh, here they are. All right, so I'm gonna add these behind here. And you can see there's not, like I probably could have got a big one behind these two letters, but might as well just stick with the minis. Here we go. Now I'm going to pop that there. So I've got five just sort of all the way across. Don't worry about the bits that are sticking out at the top and the bottom. They will just fall into line. You don't have to glue glue the whole thing down in within an inch of its life. You can just, we're just going to attach it. All right, so I'm going to add this around here and add this to the bottom so I want the F just above and I'm going to go sort of over to one side a little bit and right now you might notice that the I didn't get the the green bit out for the dot of the eye that's okay easy to fix let's use a marker for that and just give it a dot no one will even know the difference <laughs> and it's looking good, really liking it. Now I'm going to use a sponge dauber and a bit of the Shy Shamrock around the edges of this just to sort of make it look like it's the edges are finished. I'm just going to go all the way around this just to make it look like someone cares about those edges. So has anyone... Is anyone looking at this and going, oh, I hadn't even noticed that stamp set. Hadn't even noticed that bundle. It's so nice. I'm just so happy with it. I'm actually using it for a scrapbooking class coming up too. Um, and lots and lots of colors. So, you know, really good for kids, kids scrapbook pages and birthday parties and all those fun things. All right, lots and lots of color. All right, liking this, it's looking really good. We're nearly towards the end. I do want to do a little bit of stamping. I've got this uh, fabulous leaf stamp here. And you could use either Shy Shamrock or you could use Summer Splash. I think I'll use the Summer Splash in this case. So this is a not a difficult card, as you can see. It's pretty easy. And I'm just going to have that going kind of up in that direction on a bit of an angle. Looking nice. Um, I am going to... I do have some embellishments I want to add, but first I'm going to just attach this to... You can use either Shy Shamrock or Summer Splash for your mat behind. I'm using Summer Splash today, but either would look good. So let's grab that. Is this the one? No, that's not the one. This is the one. That was the other one that I cut off. All right, let's add this on. I talk to myself when I craft. I don't know if anyone else does that. Am I alone? Or do you guys talk to yourselves when you craft too? You know, I need expert advice sometimes, right? <laughs> I don't know if it's expert advice, but it's advice. All right, so you then can add embellishments in whatever way you would like. Um, we have these fantastic shimmer gems in all the new colors, Peach Pie, Shy Shamrock, Summer Splash, Pretty in Pink, and Petunia Pop. Okay, you could add those. They are fantastic. 
or I have added, I, for my card, I wanted to add some of, let me bring them over so you can see them. See these fun little um, flowers? Okay, these flowers are from a set called Flowers of Beauty. Now, even though you don't have to have these, but if you have this set, I just want to show you, it's the Flowers of Beauty dies. And I've cut, these are glimmer papers in all the new ink colours. And if you are loving the new ink colours, you may want to think about investing in a set of these. You get one 12 by 12 sheet of each of the ink colours in a pack. And in Australia, I believe they are $19.25. I hope I've given the right price. But see these? Okay, so you've got like a whole strip here, a larger one and a smaller one. I have used the smaller ones, but you could go either way. Okay, and I have cut. So when you do one, you get eight flowers at once fantastic for people who are running classes like myself or anyone who is doing multiple cards you just have to run this through once and you've got eight flowers to use fantastic and that's why I've got all these little leftover flowers from another project so I'm thinking what color will I have well I might just stick with my greens just because that seems to be the theme of the card uh, some summer splash and some shy shamrock maybe maybe one here and maybe one up here and we could have those little flowers. So you, like I said, you could just use the gems if you would like to use the gems. We also have a set called uh, Resin Dots. Those also are really, really nice. But I'm just going to add a little bit of a dot of Tombow behind each one of these little glitter flowers. One or two dots. And we're just going to pop that just here. And once it's on and that Tombow dries, you know, it's not going anywhere. It's going to stay there. Get that on, and I'm going to have that sitting right here. Isn't this a fun set? So the Flowers of Beauty dies are great if you're wanting to make multiple cards with lots of cute little flowers on them. Super nice. And there's two sizes. These are the small ones, but then there's also bigger ones. Look, here's the bigger ones. This is what they look like. So here's the big, and here's the small. You can see the difference. The big ones don't have a, um, a hole in the middle, whereas the small ones do. So with the bigger ones, you could attach if, you know, like put a, an embellishment like a pearl or something in the middle if you wanted to have a flower center. So this is looking really good, guys. Very happy with this card. And now, because I had made one earlier, I'm going to have two cards. And that means I, had, I do a class up in the Hunter Valley uh, once a month and I always create two of each one because if we have a big class, we need, we'll have two tables. So I have one on each table. And so now I have two cards I can use for that class and I've got one for each table all ready to go. All right, I'm going to, well, I just realized I should have cleaned my mat. That's very naughty of me. So I'm getting a little bit of a mess on. See, I've got some smudges on my card. That's okay. I'm going to cover, going to cover them up. No one will know. And I'm not going to tell anybody, shh, it's our secret. All right, let's go here. If you do not have a demonstrator that you currently work with to get your supplies from, um, and you're in Australia, I'm going to have the details in the description below this video uh, for how you can contact me or shop with me. Okay, so um, all of that will be there. But if you're elsewhere in the world, um, you will need to speak with a demonstrator in your market because we can only sell in the country in which we are working. So um, there we go. This is my card, guys. What do you think? Do we like the card? They're basically the same card. I've just used some different color. This one I used one of the pretty and pink flowers, uh, Summer Splash and Shy Shamrock. This one I've just stuck with the greens. But there you go. It's a beautiful card. Very, very easy. I love how the colors all look together. Absolutely fantastic. If you are, um, if you are thinking, I love all those colors, but I, you know, I'm wanting a budget conscious way to do it. We do have this month until the 31st of May, 2024, we have a fantastic joining special where you can get all of the inks in these colors, all of the cardstock, the, D the matching DSP and the matching markers, all of those are added on to a, a starter kit this month. So it's only $169 here in Australia. You get $235 worth of products of your choice, anything you like from the catalogue, plus all of those in colours that I just mentioned worth another $144 for free. So fantastic deal. It's only going until the end of May. If you love the idea of that, um, then I'd be jumping on that special as fast as I can. Um, the last thing to say to you guys is that um, 
we do these hops every month um, and I would love it if you would go down below and click on the next video in the hop. Okay, so we're going from one to another to another. Um, you can go to all the different girls in the group who have all created beautiful different ideas with these colors this month to get a great idea of how you might use them. All right, everyone, I hope you have a great day wherever you might be. And I will see you again next month for another Global Stampin' Video Hop. Or, of course, I'm live here every Friday and Sunday nights and Tuesday afternoons. Have a great week, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.